guys, it's Gouye. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, it literally feels like forever since I've sat down and got to make a video. Besides vlogging, I haven't really made a video, so I'm here! First and foremost, today is my birthday. I am officially 22. Woo -woo! Um, I'm so excited for this year. Um, I can't believe I'm 22, you guys. It felt like yesterday... I was 18, then 19, then 20, then 21, then now it's 22. Um, I never really saw 22 as like a significant age, you know, because when you're turning 18, it's like, yay, okay, in America, let's get this right. In America, when you're turning 20, I mean 18, it's like, okay, I'm legal, I can do things without my parents, right? And then it's like 19, 20, those awkward ages just drag on. And then 21, it's like, I'm legal, I can go out to the bars, I can buy alcohol, but like, okay, feels like I've done it all. Um, now that 22, well, I would say at 21, as a person, I did a lot of soul searching and, and not necessarily like really searching my soul, but you know, um, at 21, I kind of what I would say personally from my own self growth or personal growth, I stepped out into my leadership role a little bit. I knew I was born a leader um, and I and I would do it in like certain things, whether it's work, whether it's friendship. Um, I always took the lead and that was just a part of who I am and I used to shy away from that because I'm like, I don't know how to lead, but to be a good leader, you have to be a follower first, but also a follower of someone who is leading you in the right direction definitely so at 21 I did that and I stepped out on faith and started YouTube hey guys this is why I'm here um, literally it was because I've always wanted to start YouTube but like it was God who was like you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this and so when I did it the like results of what I got from it was just incredible I thank you guys so much I love my fellow consistent subscribers who will snapchat me and tweet me i love you guys so much i thank everyone for watching and liking my videos um i don't know i feel like this this 22 is gonna kind of change the way my videos are or how i go about since it's my birthday i wanted to sh shed some light in your life and just kind of give you guys some things that I learned along the way. I'm 22, so I feel like I know I have some type of knowledge, if not. But first and foremost, I would say, I say first and foremost a lot, okay. The first thing I would say is not to shy away from the person God called you to be. Although we are um, sinful beings and we are lost and confused at sometimes like who god called you to be will always be inside of you so do not be afraid to step out on that and the thing is you that people need to understand is you don't have to be all the way perfect to you know be who god called you to be it's going by day to day and just you know spending time with god and just working things out but literally do not shy away from that um so anything i would say learning that i've learned is to get out of my comfort zone and that's something I literally tell everyone I know whether they're, they're afraid to do something oh I'm afraid to do this um, but the thing is they have the ability and they have the talent go do it get out of your comfort zone doesn't matter what that means just go for it because the results in the end will be so amazing you'll be thankful you went out of your way just do that so two, get out of your comfort zone Three, step out on faith. Um, it is the scariest thing, but it is the most beautiful thing because you get to see how your relationship is with Christ. Because when you step out on faith, it's a trust thing. And it's not a trust thing with anyone else but you and Jesus. And it is so scary, but so far it has been amazing. Um, hopefully later on in my other videos I'll be able to share some of the things that God has been doing with me and for me and he is just awesome so step out on faith it doesn't matter what it may look like to other people it may look crazy people might think you're weird people might think you're doing this for attention but when you know why you're doing something and it is stepping out on faith and you know it's something God's called you to do 
do it, do it, and do it. Three, I would say take time to heal from whatever has been keeping you captive, whether it's insecurities, not feeling good enough, not believing in yourself, um, just little, literally things that have happened in the past that you are still holding on to. Let go. Take time to heal from it. So that way you'll be free. And I'm telling you, once you do that, it's like you, you're you living life brand new again. And I love that feeling. I'm able to do what I want, say what I want without having to feel like something is still holding me back. So number four, take time to heal from whatever it is that is holding you back. Um, five, I would say do not let society define you. Your definition is in Jesus and not what the world says about you or what you should do, what you should be, who you should be. All those things. Sometimes that means disagreeing with family, disagreeing with um, your friends, disagreeing with society. Oh, I disagree with society all the freaking time. Um, don't let society define you. No one else defines you but you and God. And your definition is in Him. You are worthy. You are worth everything and anything that He wants to give you. Um, number six, I would say... Stay close with your family. Um, I literally love my family to death. And I've realized I've said literally so many times in this video, but I mean it. Um, I love, 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 love my family. Um, I just recently got a nephew. His name is Isaiah. I am in love with him. He is the greatest gift we've gotten in not in a long time, but ever in our family. It's the best new addition ever. Hi, Mama Isaiah. I know my sister's probably watching. So, yeah, it's exciting. Um, stay close to your family because the, um, those are your life mates. They will love you no matter what. Um, and I'm thankful that I'm blessed with parents who absolutely love me to death and do anything and whatever they can for me. Whether it's encourage me, push me to do better. Um sometimes tell me what not to do and that's okay even though i'm 22 hey you can never be too old to listen to your parents obviously they have more wisdom and know more than you so stay close to your parents and the last thing i would say is pray specific prayers um i know that prayers are powerful a lot of people don't believe in prayer i don't think it works but honestly just pray specific prayers and god will answer them actually god knows every your every need and every want and so he knows all your desires and whatnot and he will literally he will give you all those things and it's just about a matter of taking that time to pray and just believing and trusting that god will have it taken care of but I want to say thank you to everyone who was wishing me a happy birthday. I am so thankful for all of you guys and those kind words. Um, I wouldn't be who I am without Jesus and just having him tell me step out on faith and do what I do. Um, yeah, I just thank you guys. I love all of you guys so very much. I read all the comments and... I will continue to read them because it's, it's, the day is still not over, honestly. It's still morning, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and celebrating 22 with me, and I hope you learned something and took something from it, and hey, if you want to talk about it, whether it's getting out of your comfort zone, trying, you know, being the person who God called you to be, feel free to message me. I will be here. I will talk to you. I will call you. I mean, whatever it is. In the U.S., okay, I can't call Africa, y'all, but we could FaceTime or Snap, not Snap, we could FaceTime, Snapchat, Skype, but I am here for you. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment. I love those. Those always make my day and thank you for being here. Until next time, bye guys.